And before we get things started tonight, let's go over our starting roster for our Monco Mustangs JV Red Team. Starting off in our tank position for tonight, we've got Shan sitting Diamond 3. An incredible tank. You got to see a lot of his skill last week and did a great job overall there. Sitting in one of our DPS slots, we've got Demzy sitting Plat 3 and Fusion sitting Silver 2. Both players incredible in this league. They played really nicely in that first preseason game. Really helped to create that overtime situation in on King's Row last week out here. Played an excellent game. And sitting in our support positions for tonight, we've got Replica and Inbursi. Both players also helping out with that overtime. Unfortunately, losing out 3-0 in our first preseason match last week, but a lot of great things to take away. And if you guys want to look at a replay of last week's matchup, you guys can find it on our new YouTube channel, Mustangs Esports. Be able to see all previous streams there, including last week's uh, preseason match for this JV team as well as our Overwatch 2 match from just yesterday. Able to go up against, I believe, the Ringling Rollers. Up against the Ringling Rollers just yesterday and able to win that game. But let's take a look at our weekly schedule. While we still have the time to, as people join up into our lobby, getting into things here, unfortunately, with our Rocket League team this, this Monday at 7 p.m. An unfortunate loss in their Week 2 campaign. Went to a Game 5. Incredible work by them, but unfortunately not able to eke out the win. The Mustangs, undefeated so far, went 3-0 against the Ringling Rollers, our varsity team in, our, in their first start in the NACE campaign. Sitting at sitting tonight, we've got our Overwatch 2 matchup. We saw that started up against the Marshalltown Community College team. Very exciting there. Valorant, this Thursday, 7.30, they get things started in the NJCAA Le League as they're just itching and ready to go. Rocket League, there actually won't be a stream this Friday unless we find a scrimmage match. Um, currently, as we're sitting, they have a bye week. Oh, we actually do have a 7 p.m. match for them. So that will just be later in the evening. We'll go over that schedule on Friday. And on Saturday, we do not have a League of Legends match, but if they were, 6.30, not 6.45 is when they would be there. And it looks like we got moved into a different lobby here. You guys can't see it, but I can. Um... Yeah, we're just getting things ready to go tonight. Everyone is so excited for everything as we just kind of get into it. Get really ready. Get uh, nice and cozy here. Grab yourselves a snack. You got three minutes until the match is supposed to be starting here. So, you know, plenty of time to go eat a snack, grab some water. I know I've got my water with me, so I'm very excited about that as we just wait for Marshalltown to get in here. But keep your ear on the stream. You know, you never know when uh, the other team is going to show up. Hopefully everyone's having a great night. I see Gilbert already in chat. Someone that you might see in the casting booth later this season. Uh, excellent person. Moved on to greener pastures. We wish him all the best. And obviously we wish him the best if we want him back. He actually reached out to me, I believe today, talking about it. And always happy to have a uh, member of the Monco Mustangs, always a part of the Monco Mustangs, um, ready to go in that casting booth. You might see him in some League of Legends matches, up as well as some Overwatch 2 matches. And always happy to have Gilbert in the casting booth with us. And always happy to have him in chat. Great to see him in chat. And yeah, it looks like Marshalltown has joined up on our lobby which is always nice. And we should get things started in just a minute or two here. Looks like we might be heading to Lijang Tower initially. As I just bring up my communications with the team here and with some of my friends helping me out. Incredible work from this team last week. We were able to hear from Enbursi, one of the support players, and a very key message to their night uh, just last week. They weren't able to win one of the games in the match, but they brought a master's team to overtime on King's Row, and it meant everything to that Overwatch, to the JV team. You know, these guys, their ranks are scattered amongst uh, the ranks there, so it puts them in a weird position when they're going up against teams that even have similar ranks, even if they are overall at a lower side of things. Just 
a different game at the different levels, but these guys have played so well together, and I see them in Discord all the time. These guys are excited to get started here, ready to get started here, as we're just one minute away from what should be the start of this game. Looks like we're still going to Li Zhang Tower. Uh, fun story, I uh, thought stream was starting about 30 minutes early, so I had Overwatch open, and I played a cop match, got to play tank a little bit. Uh, long story short, I got 31 kills. I think I had 15k damage, and we still lost, which is always fun, but we played on Li Zhang Tower, um, which is a great map to start off on, a very even map for both teams, and excited to see what comes up with this map. I, a bunch of other maps are good, too, but, you know, I'm hoping that Mako could do what I couldn't do just 10, 15 minutes ago, which is uh, actually get the W on Li Zhang Tower, start things off with a nice uh, little start here. As both teams are in, neither team has said that they're ready yet. Um, though we do have the Mustangs in the correct order, with Shan obviously standing at the top of the charts as our tank, Dempsey and Fusion with our uh, DPS spots, and Replica and Embercy on our supports. These teams have pulled off some really good comps, and also in lobby with us is is Sundown. Sundown, member of the varsity team in that flex DPS spot. An incredible player. He had some great plays last night. Again, that VOD on our YouTube channel, Mustangs Esports, if you guys want to go check it out. Sundown in pretty much like a manager role of this, or a coaching role of this JV team. has given them a lot of great effort. You know, obviously moved up from the JV. He was on the JV team last semester, on the varsity team now, but, you know, didn't want to leave those guys high and dry. Has given them a ton of great work and especially now that he has time there you know for the next week or two when we still have uh these jv matches being streamed on our main account it means that the varsity team isn't playing which gives sundown a great opportunity to hands-on coach this team and get them ready for the regular season they hope to bring stuff on and yeah that's about it As we should get ready to go here about two minutes past when match should start. I say should. Everyone gets in the lobby and it takes some time. Looks like people are ready to go. And it looks like we might be getting streamed on another account. Or no. We're getting into things right now. Some Overwatch 2 action coming from Lee Jake Tower. What are we going to get first? And we are starting on Control Center here. For those of you that have never seen a Mustang stream, welcome. And for those of you who might not be familiar with how Overwatch operates, this is Control Point. There are three maps, best two out of three. So this could be over in two maps here. Got to bring it up to 100%. You'll see that percent bar in the top. You'll see this uh, little gray line marks off where the Control Point is. Um, both teams are attacking here. So... Gonna see who we got. We got a, a nice comp coming out of the Mustangs. Shan on that Ramatra, as we've got Dempsey on the Sojourn, Fusion on the Reaper, Replica on Baptiste, and Embercy on the Kiriko. Here we go. Shan leading that charge straight into the right art comp here. Mako trying to put in work. Baptiste getting some great healing in there. Great use of his immortality field. Objective is unlocked, and we've got Embercy on that point with Kiriko. Mustang will be able to take point here. Now they're just going to go in on the fight. No one has fallen yet. And it looks like I spoke too soon. Dempsey, Shan, open up the floodgates. Dempsey with a second. Shan with a second. Four out of five members. Mustangs get a team kill. What a first push from the Mustangs here. Dempsey and Shan both getting two. 
Rounding out it, I believe Demzy was the one with three there. Unfortunately, not able to take a look at the stats in this type of mode that we are in, but some great work by the Mustangs here. It looks like they're going to try to... Marshalltown's going to go around the long way. The Mustangs ready for it. The rest of the Mustangs will move around. Shan with a double kill. Shan with a triple kill. Dempsey and Shan combined for another team kill. What an incredible, incredible start for the Mustangs here. Up towards 50% now on point. Mustangs have three ultimates with a clear ult advantage. Their last two on the way. Oh, and Shan immediately in. The rest of the Marshalltown team has to move around. That Immo field is going to keep Shan alive. He almost had that team all to himself. What an incredible job so far by these Mustangs. They look to just push them off. Kitsune Rush comes out. Mayo also comes out. Mayo's not going to get anyone. They will nullify the Kitsune Rush. Oh, and Shan moving things forward. Demzy able to get one. Demzy able to get two. Demzy looking for more. Demzy will get more. And Bercy helping out as well. Mustangs, 99, will get 100% with a team, with another team kill. That's three team kills for this Mustangs on map one. What an incredible start to this initial game of this initial match. Incredible look by the Mustangs so far. Played super well into this uh, offensive Marshalltown. These guys playing as a team and it really shows here. Here we go. Going with the Symmetra comp. Probably see a switch out from some... Or no. Dempsey's going to put it on point here. They'll be able to do it. Other team also going for it. They get down and dirty. I'm not tapped into the game to move things around there. Sham looking for a kill. Sham will be hit off the side. Unfortunately, not going the Mustang's way. Demzy the only one to get out of there. Or actually, Demzy the first one to die, keeping Monko from that team kill. I will break and it looks like Marshalltown is going to grab it from the Mustangs. They won't get credited with a team kill, but it will be close enough to one. I will give Now on board with Dempsey. No one with a clear ult advantage right now. Shan able to get one. We've already got an ultimate out of here. Vision able to get another. Vision moving around, trying to get out of the Symmetra's way. They'll trap the Symmetra. Be able to get the Symmetra. Shan close to the only one left. Mustangs will grab the point. Thought I spoke too soon there. I did not. Mustangs now at 2-3% as Marshalltown up towards 54%. Ultimate comes out from the Orissa. Orissa won't be able to get anyone there, but he will get Replica. Sham will activate his ultimate. Looking to get one, he'll get one. Looking to get two, he'll get two with the help of his friend. With Fusion. Unfortunately taken out there, Fusion is left. Fusion grabs the health back. He'll let him to get out of there and he will be taken out. Marshalltown will take back the point now at 57% up towards 60. Marco only at 31. Uh, 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 
moving in on things here. Chan moving forward and Bercy moves back. Now towards 80%. Ultimate comes out from the uh, enemy soldier. Able to get two with it. Fusion able to get one. Looking for more. He'll be able to get a second one if he's able to get the Orissa. Able to get the Orissa. Shan on point. Shan will get another kill. Mustangs will only lose one and they'll be able to get the point. But it is in an overtime situation. Now at 33%, they can't afford to lose the point again. So we'll move over to Inversi yet again. Over to Replica. This team working really, really well tonight. Monko up towards 50%. They're going to look to take things here. For game one of this match. And again, they go for the Symmetric Cop. But Shan immediately able to get one. Shan looking for two. Shan will get two. He'll activate his ultimate. Shan will get a third. The Orisa is left. Orisa will get a kill, but will get a uh, revenge from Fusion there. Now the Mustang's up at 72%. Mustangs now at 80, or sorry, Mustangs at 86%. This could very well be the last team fight that we have of this game. They're able to try to get in on point. Will it be enough? Shan gets one. Mustangs get four. Mustangs looking for five. Mustangs get another team kill. And that's going to do it for game one. What a beautiful, beautiful time. Mustangs lead. 1-0. We'll see who gets the play of the game here. Unfortunately, unlike our varsity matchups for Rocket League and Overwatch, we don't have a look inside the studio. But Shan, obviously with the play of the game here, we'll see right here on this map. I don't know if we were on him for all of this, but Shan will be able to get one. He'll trap him in the corner. We're on him for the back half of this play. He helps to get kills all over the place. An incredible work by the Monco Mustangs there. Obviously brought it to the overtime on map two, but were able to take care of it. Only at 47% when they hit the overtime. And then were able to bring it back. Brings it up to 99%. And that final team wipe, they went right into Shan. Shan knew what he had. He went into Nemesis form, which is where you'll see those very powerful punches. The closer that you get which is exactly why Shan was able to work so well into the Marshalltown comp. That team, the way that that comp operates is very much in your face. They want to be in the face of the tank. And they just kept on playing directly into Shan. He got some big damage on them. And members of the team like Fusion, Dempsey, uh, Replica, and Inversi all backing up Shan, pumping damage into that group it was what that comp was built around. And it worked perfectly right now against the Marshalltown offense, which I always find as a great thing. As we get ready to go here on the second map, as my headphones uh, show their sign of age, uh, which is always a fun time. But this team playing beautifully, everyone playing the roles really well. If I had to pick out, you know, an MVP of game one, it's got to have to be Shan. Shan with some incredible plays, a couple of really nice team kills, but I think really helped there by Fission, who was able to get in their faces with the Reaper, really moved around that team as that team struggled to target. You know, that constant movement didn't really make him much of a threat to the Marshalltown offense. They just kind of let him run around and do his thing because they had too many targets to track with the Mustangs on top of them. And Bercy and Replica also playing really well in that support role, as they always do. And I'm just making sure that I'm up to date on all my messages and stuff. And making sure that we are ready to go for game two. Uh, as it looks like we're not moving back to Li Zhang. We are. All right. And it looks like we're going to go to King's Row. Mustangs were able to get the tie there. 
just last time around unfortunately lost in the tiebreaker but that was to an all masters team they played that really well they know how to play king's row and it looks like who's gonna be on defense we're gonna see here in a minute I think the Mustangs still trying to decide if they want to set the bar or uh, have the Marshalltown set the bar. Obviously, both have their advantages and both have their disadvantages. I know what I would choose. I'm going to see what they choose and then I'll comment on it. I don't think that there's a wrong choice here. I think there's just a choice that I prefer if I was in the Mustang shoes. But we will see here in just one second what they choose on this uh it's called a hybrid push map that we're going to go to next on king's row i'll explain what that is once we're on the map itself but we're still waiting for the mustangs response here as they decide whether or not they're going to be on attack or defense mustangs say they're going to set the bar here i enjoy that response not what i would personally go with for me i want them to have the opportunity and for me to match the bar as opposed to for me setting the bar but obviously being on attack, not a bad thing at all for the Mustangs. They're going to set that bar really, really high tonight as it looks like uh, Marshalltown ready to go. Mustangs will probably not be far behind. I'm probably talking to their coach Sundown as we get ready to start things here. Let's see some hype in chat. We got Gilbert in chat right now. Great to see him. And, you know, see that some of you probably joining the live action welcome to our stream my name is corrupted sr71 happy to have you guys here for the mustangs versus marshalltown jv matchup here tonight and as we get further into the match if you guys missed the first part of the match stay locked in right here because on our youtube channel mustangs mustangs esports be able to catch all of our streams after the fact so you guys can go back and re-watch that portion of stream keep yourselves locked in for the live action we got readies on both sides of the field so we should get things started here in just 10 to 15 seconds as i say that they've still not readied up this is my favorite time when i get the timing absolutely wrong just waiting on marshalltown here to start up the match they are the leaders and there they go. The second I take my hands off to grab a sip of water. Now entering King's Row. And it looks like we've been put on the team spec, so I can't see anything, which I'm not the happiest about, but we will talk to them after the match and see if they'll be able to give us all spec again. We will have peace at any cost. I aim to devastate. Mustangs on the attack here. You'll see that point up ahead. You'll see uh, Dempsey pointing at it. The goal for Monko. Capture that point. They'll get the cart out, so and then from them. there, they've got to push that cart up to two objective points that you'll hopefully be able to see there in a couple of minutes. And it looks like they're going to take a Ramatra Cup as well as we are. A very similar lineup. Uh, looks like Embersi stays on the Kiriko, though. Uh, well, let me cycle through. Replica is going to be on the Ana. Here we go. Mustangs gonna take the long way around. Looks like the Marshalltown team had other plans. Immediately going after that take. He's forced to get into his uh, nemesis form. Mustangs gonna pump it full of damage. And even with that Mercy healing, they are not going to be able to grab him. They will be able to grab the respawn. Mercy, though, not able to get out of there. And Mercy taken out. Mustangs fall back. They lose their tank. But a great first push from there. Three minutes and 11 seconds left.
Mustang's gonna go around there. Fusion gets hit with a big one. Mustangs moving their way out. They'll move around. Nano boost administered to Shan. Shan able to grab one. Force the replica take it out, and Percy able to get another. Mustangs will take point here, though. Baptiste left up top. Same as the soldier. Percy will grab, get out of there. Mustangs will grab point. They'll grab an extra two and a half minutes. Bring that thing up to four and a half minutes. As it looks like we got a member of our Rocket League team in chat, Joe, a.k.a. Wimpy. It's great to have him in chat. Mustang moving things up. Fusion moved up as well. Let the Kitsune guide you. Oh, and immediately Shan able to shut down the ultimate. Using that Kiriko ultimate brought out by Embercy. Shan's able to get a double kill. Dempsey's able to get a double kill. Marco looks for the team kill here. They're going to be able to get it. Great work by the Mustangs there. Death Blossom is ready. Mustangs bringing it up to that second checkpoint. Three minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock for them as of right now. Fusion has got his ultimate ready, looking for a way around. Not going to grab it the way that he wants. He'll look to get out of there, and he will be able to. Mustangs bringing it up. And Sundown, I think. Oh, my Fusion's able to get one. Fusion taken down as well as Shan. We'll move that around 3.24 meters off of the point. Everyone ready to go. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Get a look at our stat lines here. I don't know why I can't do that in all spec, but I can do it here. Shan does have his ultimate ready for him. Immediately goes in on the enemy tank. Able to get able to get at least one member of that Marshall Town. Going for more. Shan's gonna be able to get it. Mercy also able to get one. They move on to the soldier. Now with just under two minutes remaining to move it up to the second point. I believe they'll gain a minute and a half from grabbing this point. Doesn't look like anyone's going to be there to receive. Mustangs will grab the point. They will get that extra minute and a half as I thought. This last checkpoint, an especially hard one, but the Mustangs have been able to do it before. It gets it all Masters team. Chan putting in good damage here. City 10 and 2. forward here. Immediately going all in on the tank here. He's able to get at least one kill. Able to get a second kill. He'll try to get more. Shan, meanwhile, up front. Enemy tank is going to grab two kills. Baptiste is able to grab Shan. Looks like we're ready to go here. Mustangs are going to try to pull it in. Two minutes and ten seconds remaining. So we've got a couple of ultimates on the Mustang side of things. Katuna Rush comes out. A few other ults come out. Shan able to grab one. He'll grab the Nano Boost and he'll try to get more. 
Shan, Dempsey, each get one. Mustangs, push this thing forward. Team kill on Mako's end of things. They used a few ults to get it, though. They'll have just Fusion's ult getting ready to go here. Mako take aggressive positioning in order to grab this team. Mustangs getting close here. They're going to need to grab it now. Ultimate comes out from the enemy team. Wakes her during the ultimate. They're going to be able to get two kills here. Fusion, 97%. He looks to get out of there. He'll get close. Won't be able to do it. 56 seconds left for the Mustangs. Both teams get attacking and defending stints here. So we'll see how that goes. Mustang's gonna move things forward. 30 seconds left. The Mustang's fairly close to that final point. But the more time they spend off cards, the further back that cart's gonna be moved. Shan gonna move his way forward, unfortunately. And Bercy gonna be taken out. Fusion able to get one. It's gonna be all he's gonna be able to get. We are in overtime here. And Bercy gets back to the team. Nemesis form comes out from Shan. He's gonna look to get a few with this. Shan gets one. Shan looking for more. Shan will get two. Soldier is there. Will he be able to touch Cart though? 3.79. Mustang so close. Mustangs get it. They'll grab a team kill as well. Mustangs grabbing team kills all over the place on this Marshalltown team. They'll bring the score three to zero. They'll get no time, but they'll grab an extra minute if they bring it to overtime. Mustang's not looking to do that. We're just about 30 seconds away from Mustang. He's going to be on defense here, looking to finish things up, bring a 2-0 lead over Marshalltown. Marshalltown looking to bring things to a uh, to an overtime situation here. We'll see what they'll be able to do in just a few seconds. change the future unless you pay up front. You're too good with that gun to waste it on a life of crime. I'll go on the straight and narrow when hell freezes up. Or when the law catches up with you. Say and the Mustangs looks like they've switched things up now. Using an ash on the defensive end. We see fusion on that. Rest of the team seating fairly similar here. Island. And it appears as Marshalltown gonna take the long way around. Hanzo going to try to move his way into on point. He's going to be able to get Fusion there. Shan going to go into Nemesis form. Will he be able to get anything done with this? Shane able to get one. Dempsey taken out. Replica able to get another. Mustangs can tend that point. Mustangs with a double kill. They'll be able to solve their point problem for now as they take it down the Ana. And with two minutes and 38 seconds now. 
some things look to take things even further forward. As team moves around the backside, they're able to get the jump on Replica. Shan able to get up, but will it be enough? I don't... Oh, Shan able to get one. Shan able to get two. If I can move over to Shan, Shan will unfortunately be taken down. A team kill on the Monaco Mustangs this time. Looks like they're going to try to get point here. Their confidence will be their undoing. They'll be able to grab point at another 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Four and a half minutes now. Mako has made a good defense so far. Mustang's doing well so far. Ultimate comes out from the enemy Hanzo. He'll look to get anything out of it. He will be able to get something out of it. And Percy, able to get a kill of their own. Ultimate comes out from Demzy. Demzy able to get one. Replica able to get another. We move around. Mustangs take up their second positions here. Their defensive position, sorry. Three minutes to go. Well, things immediately pouring damage into that window. Ultimate comes out and immediately taken down. They move over to a Fara. They're able to combine for a couple of kills there. The rest of the Mustangs falling. As I can't even move on to Shan right now. Shan will fall. They'll be able to get a team kill with two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. They'll move that thing too really far up. Looks like they're going to move back to the Soldier 76. And to a Reaper. We haven't seen the Soldier. We have seen the Reaper tonight. So move that card up. They'll get it close to that position. Two minutes left. Two Mustangs fall. Fusion able to get a good kill there. He's got his ultimate ready. Shan and Fusion combined to get at least one kill. They get three kills together. They're able to move the Marshall Town off the cart with a minute and 30 seconds left. Only a couple of team fights in order to move this thing up and get that extra minute and a half. Over there. Some good strategies coming out from Marshall Town though. Ultimate comes out from the enemy team. Fortunately able to grab a double kill there. All five Mustangs taken out with just a minute left. They'll grab an extra minute and a half on the clock. That will give them uh, two minutes and 30 seconds in order to push this card to the last point. One of the most difficult points, like I said before, the Mustangs gonna wanna put a stop to it. They move over from that Reaper to a Bastion. I think he's going to be good to pour some damage into that team. Let's see how the Marshalltown team has adapted to their loss in the first round. The way that they moved their comp away from what Monaco's comp is good at. Able to get three there. Shan is all that's left currently. He'll get slept. And Bercy will also get taken out. And Bercy on that Widow will get taken out as well. The Mustangs 
Gonna need to operate quickly here. We're gonna stop that car. Oh my god, and they just barely miss it here. Oh, unfortunate. It's gonna be taken to overtime. With some extra time on the clock. With a minute 30 left, the Mustangs will only get an extra minute added on, I believe. Mustangs on this defensive end are going to look to uh, make a big, big stop here. Same rules as the beginning rounds, but you get no extra time no matter how many objectives you take. All they've got is a minute and 22 plus anything that they can do during the overtime period. Remember, they got to stay on the objective to keep that overtime active. Demzy trying to get out of there. Demzy will get taken down. That pharmacy running at full force. Fusion able to get two though. Shan able to get one. Shan able to get two. Shan's going to be able to grab three here. Well, Fusion's going to be able to grab the third. Won't be considered a team kill. Oh. Right. Because of how... Because the Mustangs didn't have time, all that uh, the Marshalltown has to do is get it to that first third. I was completely wrong there. With 32 seconds left, this is going to be the last major team fight. Mako are going to want to bring these guys down. They're going to want to wait a couple of seconds. Wait till we get to about 15, 10 seconds until everything starts to come down. We'll see how things go here. Immediately going in on the Orissa. We saw that Orissa last time out. Dempsey already able to grab the Farah there. So we get to the last 12 seconds of this game. Eight seconds left as an Orisa ultimate comes out. Able to grab only Shan there. The rest of the team tries desperately to get the point. We're at the last time. We're at overtime, baby. Ultimate comes out from Fusion there. Two Mustangs taken out and they're gonna get the win. What a close, close matchup yet again on King's Row. The win does not go in Mako's way here. Play of the game is going to go Shan's way yet again. A couple of really great team fights there. Fortunately, not able to hold them off. It's a really difficult thing, especially on this map. I forgot that both teams don't get a chance when there's no time left on the clock from one of the teams. So Mustang's put in a bad position there. But yeah. Mustang still look good and powerful. The Mustangs doing some great work here tonight, but it can't be said enough. This Marshalltown team is playing beautifully here tonight. On the offensive and defensive end, you can see the difference between them in the first round and them in the second round. They're still playing really well in the second round, but um, obviously the Mustangs um, not in the best position right now. Things are tied up one-to-one -one against Marshalltown as we move into game three here as I believe this is just going to be a normal push map. So instead of having to capture a point and then push a cart, you're just pushing a cart forward. We'll get into what that is. 
Oh, next map is not that. Next map is push robot, which is going to be different from push, uh, from a regular push cart map. This is a robot that is going to be centered in the middle of the map. Both teams will fight for control of the robot. If you have control, it will move forward. Each team has the opportunity to gain an advanced spawn, so a spawn that is closer to where the robot is, and then a final point, a final destination point that will end the match automatically. As it looks like we're just getting things ready. I can't remember. People don't remember if it's a push map or just a normal push cart map or a uh, just a push map. It looks like Escort is next. So it looks like they might be making a substitution maybe. I don't know. On the opposing side on Marshalltown side as we're just waiting. Whew. And it looks like we're going to be moving to my favorite map in Overwatch 2, Circuit Royale, the map based around the famous Monaco. The only time where I uh, get to talk about my favorite topic, Gilbert's, one of Gilbert's favorite topics too, if he's still watching, uh, Formula One. And, you know, when we're talking about Formula One, uh, no races so far this season. We got to wait till about March in order for us to get any type of on-track action that's going to come in the form of our preseason testing. Very excited for that. But right now, we've got, I believe, half the grid's uh, designs for their cars. Five out of ten vehicles have been shown. And for those of you that might not be a fan of Formula One or are a fan of Formula One but haven't been keeping up, um, not a good year for the looks of these vehicles. They're all just all exposed carbon. Um... Alpine released their car today, and I was very disappointed. I was expecting a full pink camo livery. They've been teasing it for three weeks that it's been this pink camo livery. And there was probably about 7 to 10% of the car that was pink. The rest of it was full exposed carbon. And, it, like, listen, carbon looks good. I love carbon. Carbon's sexy. But, like, ugh, it's too much exposed carbon for me. Luckily, later this week, I believe we have Ferrari's car launch. Sorry, that's next week. That's what, I, that's what I'm doing on Valentine's Day. I'm watching the Ferrari car launch, and they're going to go red. And from all the promotional footage that I've seen, they're going to go back to the classic red and white as opposed to the red and black. So I'm really excited to see what they do there. Ferrari tends to say the same. Red Bull has already been confirmed to be the same. I assume it's going to be a little bit different, but that's going to be fine. And... Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's about that. I mean, just the cars this year haven't looked good. The Williams car and the McLaren car both look great. Uh, I believe they both look very nice. Uh, and then other than that, the Alpine doesn't really look good. And then uh, kind of new team on the grid, uh, Alfa Romeo has rebranded to Stake F1, which is a problem in most countries that have things against gambling laws, as Stake is a gambling online casino. But uh, their car, looking really nice in that lime green. Just a lot of exposed carbon for me. Uh, I just want a solid car. I know paint is weight, but like, ugh. And it looks like we're going to be taking a little bit of a break here as the teams get settled. I need to go run and grab some more water, so we're going to do that. We're going to move it over to a Be Right Back screen, but we will be right back with some more Overwatch 2 for all of you. As soon as I find, there it is. So we will be right back. Keep your eyes locked on that screen. We could be back at any moment.
Alrighty then, we are back as everyone is back. They took a little bit of a bathroom break here as well as, you know, I did too. Uh, <laughs> but we are getting things ready to go here into, you know, the back half of this game. Tied 1-1, Marshalltown 1, Mako 1, a big, big game for the Mustangs in their preseason charge in the NJCAAE League. They're doing a great job so far. Mustang's going to be on defense first for Circuit Royale. Going to let them set the bar, and then they'll try to grab it up. Mustangs. It's going to be an exciting time. I'm really excited for it. Uh, and that's about that. I think everyone is going to be ready very soon, and then we'll get into this game of Overwatch 2. Hopefully everyone's having a great night. We see a couple of guys in chat. My luck, Wimpy, Retro, Gilbert. It's great to see you guys all in chat. You know, we've got a very nice average viewer count here, which I'm always happy to see. And that's about it. I think we're just going to get the readies up, and then we should be getting back into things. It looks like Marshalltown is ready to go. Are the Mustangs ready to go as well? You will see in just a second, I assume, talking to their coach, Sundown. Big part of this JV roster is Sundown, who's taken that coaching role as he's joined the varsity team. So whenever he can, he's with that JV team, practicing with them, and uh, really just helping them. Great flex DPS for the varsity team as well. Mustangs are ready to go, and we are moving in. And here we go on to my favorite map. Circuit Royale. This is just a push cart map. Um, fun, fun map. Let me come down here. We we'll see that our cart is a Torbjorn. Yeah, I believe it's Torbjorn. Yeah, Torbor Torbjorn style Formula One car, futuristic looking. Uh, I will say that there is less exposed carbon on this car's livery than any of the liveries that have currently been put out by the Formula One teams. Um, which I think is always a fun time. Hotel Monaco. And honestly, a very nice circuit layout for this map. A lot of fun Easter eggs if you're able to find them. Uh, the pits just up here. See the circuit move through and back around. It'll be a good match. Mustangs on the uh, on the defensive end first. So it looks like Marshalltown going with what worked for them in the last round, moving into that uh, Ramatra comp yet again. Mustangs moving things over to a Sigma comp, seeing if something new will work. Trying a different strategy with this one. They've had a lot of time to formulate. MZ already able to get one. Both the DPS is brought back just a little bit as well as the support. Things very far out there. Sitting on that front line still is Shan. Playing very well this evening. Looks like enemy tank looking low. He'll get healed up though. Fusion getting close on that Ash. He'll get saved by the team. Shan gonna be able to grab one. Shan with two now. He looks to move things forward. Demsey able to grab one. Demsey will fall in Percy with the immediate reaction. Mustangs will only lose one in that team fight. Still two minutes and 22 seconds left on the clock to move to that first checkpoint. You do get additional time, just like on the last match for every point that you move forward. Fusion 
Great shooting so far here tonight. Chan will fall. He'll allow that thing to be pushed up just a little bit more. He'll fall. Fusion trying to get out of there. Not able to. Replica, the only one left. Rest of the Mustangs team armor up together. Ult advantage going the Mustangs way. They've got four ready with one very close. Almost three, four ready on the Marshalltown side of things. Mustang is just looking a little bit closer. One minute and 30 seconds to get to that first point. Mustangs move down. Jan will stay front side. Some really good damage there. Fusion and Demti. Both of our teams are able to get one. Ultimate comes out from the Ash. Ash able to get it. Will fall though. Using Bob to do something. Soldier trying to stay out of the way of Shan's attacks. Got 30 smooth. 35 seconds left on the clock. So enough time for another team fight or two, depending on how things are spread out here. We'll move over to Fusion. Dempsey still has their ultimate ready, as well as Embercy. A couple of good ultimates. They don't pair together. But Embercy, gonna use theirs. See them move up. Drop a few in that back line. Embercy able to get one. And with 10 seconds left on the clock, they won't be able to really get back unless they really force this shot. Ultimate comes out from Mako. Two ultimates come out from the Marshalltown team. Shan able to force it. And Mustangs in a great position in this game three. They will take it right here. Only 87 meters pushed forward. The Mustangs working really, really well. A couple of really great plays. No team kills for them, but didn't really need it in the end of the day. So the Mustangs, all they got to do is push it to exactly where this card is in about probably 10 seconds you'll see that turn into a gold rectangle that's the point where mustangs need to pull it to in order to win this game put themselves up 2-1 over marshalltown and to put themselves in a match point situation which is what we want oh right this is the farthest that the cart was pushed up so this is actually going to be where it is cart did move back a little bit at the end of the match mustangs on the attack they're going to stick with what they have they may uh, the looks like actually they're not and Bercy moves over to the Mercy. Um, Demzy moving over to the Genji. Looks like Fusion moving over to Junkrat. High damage capabilities. As it looks like... Marshalltown moves over to a Sigma, Soldier, Hanzo, Baptiste, and Mercy. Almost a completely different lineup as the Mustangs move around. Replica on that Life Weaver. We've seen this strategy from them on Circuit Royale really before. Both Varsity and JV squads like to use this strategy. Immediately try to put in some damage. All characters with high mobility. And Bercy, unfortunately, first to fall there on this side of things. Demzy with the Genji pick. Moves around, goes in on his brother. Unfortunately taken out there. And Bercy back with the team. Chan able to get the Baptiste out of there. There's a lot of damage there. Shan able to get another. Baptiste has been revived, but it means they won't be able to get their tank back. Move over to Demzy, who is up top. The Mustangs move forward. It's a 
good work out of a team, Varsity and JV, that love to play Genji. Moves in. Cheon able to get the Baptiste yet again. Able to grab two with it. Shan moves things forward. And a team kill by Mako gives them what will be very close to a, another win in game three. And we're going to go to a game four Mako match point. They're going to put themselves up two to one over the Marshalltown Community College. What an incredible game so far. Both teams playing super, super well. An incredible strategy call out of the Mustangs to give him the win in game three. Shan, using his ultimate to his ability, he'll get one kill there. And he says, that's not enough. I'm not going to just kill you once. I'm going to kill you twice. Able to get a couple of kills there. Oh, the Baptiste did die already. I thought it was this. Got the Baptiste and the Soldier mixed up there as we wait for the final map. This is going to be the robot push. Like I was talking about before, both teams going after the robot at the same time. And uh, whoever has control will push it forward. Be able to, there are two checkpoints. One will grab you a forward spawn. And the next will stop the game immediately. There's a 10 minute time limit on the game. We tend to reach it. It's a fairly difficult game mode. And it looks like uh, they ban New Queen Street, the Mustangs. So I assume that we're probably going to go to Coliseo for what we are going, what the Mustangs want to have as their last game of the night to take this win over the Marshalltown Tigers. We now wait patiently for the Mustangs response as they decide on what they want to do. Get some hype and chat for the Mustangs. They played so beautifully tonight, and they still have some in the tank. Up 2-1 against Marshalltown. Oh, looks like we're going to Esperanza. Map that I personally enjoy a little bit. I tend to like Coliseo a little bit more for these push maps, but I am not upset with this choice. Um, out of Marshalltown. They did a really good job. And they're going to look to do another force that game five situation. And, you know, the Mustangs don't want to be in that. But they've been fighting hard all night. I have full confidence in the Mustangs as we move things forward. We're just getting ready to go. Marshalltown ready. Mustangs ready. We'll get moved into things right about now. Here we go. Mustangs looking to close things out on the night. Marshalltown looking to force that game five. We will see very, very soon. What will happen? Nobody really knows. I don't even know. This has been a great game, a very unpredictable game all night long. So we get ready to see what these guys have picked. About 30 seconds to go. As we will see here, I'll move my thing around. This is our robot. Obviously, red trying to push red, blue trying to push blue. Uh, or I think, yeah. Here we go. Let's see the team comps that these teams come up with. Marshalltown has been good at adapting as well as the Mustangs. Oh, oh, oh my God. What are these comps? I'm not saying that in a bad way. On the Monko side of things, Shan sitting on the Junker Queen, Demzy on the Genji, we've got uh, Fusion on the Ash, Replica on the Lucio, and Embercy on the Kiriko. On the enemy side of things, on Marshalltown side, we've got <laughs> we got our new tank, who I am blanking on his name. I should not be blanking on this guy's name, but. Uh, we got a Reaper, a May, a Lucio, um, an Ana. And we'll move directly into things here. Shan going in. And immediately going to try to grab out enemy tank. He'll get trapped because of the wall, but he'll be able to move out of things. And Bursi, unfortunately, not able to. Objective will unlock. Unfortunately, two more of Mako's finals will fall.
Malga. Malga. I got that only a minute into the game, but Malga is that tank on the enemy team playing really well so far. Replica will move all the way back to spawn. Mustang's gonna stick with the comp that they have. Unfortunately, that first team fight not going the way that they won, but Shan played really well, just unfortunately caught out because of that wall. They're ahead of us. And able to grab the Malga there. Fortunately, Mako losing two there. We'll just move out of things. Definitely a different comp than what I was expecting from the Mustangs, but they're playing really well here today. Unfortunately, able, not able to get out of there. And immediately with the forward spawns, only two, less than two minutes into this game. Oh, and they're able to grab one. Fortunately, and Percy falling there early in the team fight. Malga looks to get in the face of Shan. Shan. Able to put in some bleed damage, they'll be able to take him down. Ultimate immediately comes out from the May. Get in some bleed damage, they'll be able to get her. Mako, not gonna be able to get the main, the team kill, though. Grab the Lucio, though. Mako gonna look to grab. If they're able to grab to the midpoint, they'll take down the advanced spawns. Mako got three ultimates ready. Ult advantage. I'm gonna give it to Mako here as they got that fourth almost ready. Now we've got ultimate not far behind though. It's immediately the Mustangs. In. Three, four Mustangs fall. Dempsey the only one left trying to move away from that team kill. Unfortunately, a little too little, a little too late a team kill on the Mustangs there. As they're now going to try to push things even further forwards. Mustang's not able to push far at all. Forward spawn reactivated for Marshalltown. Shan getting ready to use that ultimate for that Reaper. Proving to be annoying. Reaper taken down. Mustang seen opening here. As Bob is put out. Mustangs get three as they move forward. Using two ultimates, though. Not the way I think that they would want to do it. Three ultimates used on the Mustang side. All three, or I think only one ultimate used on the Marshalltown side of things. Ultimate advantage going to them. Shannon and Bercy both have their ultimates. It can cause some big damage, but we'll see. Some big, big targets. Junior Rush comes out. Shan also uses his ultimate. And a third ultimate there from the enemy, Malga. Malga unfortunately losing the team fight and have, having burned their ultimates there. Almost another team kill. Mustang's not in the best position as we're just over halfway through. We're just under halfway through. We'll get back to the advanced spawns. So it looks like they switched up the comp a little bit. Bastion for the, for the DPSs. They've got Bastion and Reaper now. Trying to combat that Reaper and May. Reaper will move in. May will use her ultimate. Demzy not able to get out of there. And Bercy also looking for something. Unfortunately, Bastion taken out there. There goes Replica and Bercy and Shan are there. Shan gets taken down. There will go in Bercy. They're getting very close to ending the match. Okay. 
They're getting close to that final checkpoint. Mako trying to defend as much as humanly possible, but they are right up in their faces. Ultimate comes out, grabs two. Two Mustangs move forward, though. And with a team kill, that's going to do it. We're going to a game five. Marshalltown ties it up two to two. I just don't think it was the best team comp for the Mustangs there. And unfortunately, not going their way. Play of the game going to the enemy Reaper. Some great plays by Marshalltown. Again, you see that adaptation going back and forth. And Mako hoping that it falls their way as it goes in line with the pattern that's happened tonight. But we will we will see. I'm not I'm not fully sure. I, I have full confidence in the Mustangs as we move into this last game. You know, not the best situation to be in your backs up against the wall. It's a tie game. Two to two, Marshalltown two, Mustangs two. If you're just joining us and want to know how do we get here, keep Keep it locked in for the live action. But after this, in just a few hours, stream will be live on our YouTube page. Mustangs Esports. Go over there to see this and every other stream that we have had this season. And I think it's going to be a really fun time here tonight into this last game. 2-2 Marshalltown. Able to bring it back to a tie. It looks like we're moving over to Servasa. And I think we'll just get into things very quickly here as we get ready for this game. Servasa is what's called a flashpoint map um it's called a flashpoint game mode and that refers to the fact that we stay on one map the entire time it's best three out of five so you know one checkpoint will open you'll be able to grab that checkpoint bring it up to a hundred percent once that checkpoint is done another one will unlock and you'll go battle for that one. First team to three checkpoints captured will be the winner of not just the game but tonight's matchup between marshalltown and the Mustangs. Keep everything locked in right here. I think we're going to get things started very quickly. Um, as we just wait patiently. Mustangs have already requested Servasa. So not much more to do than wait for uh, the Marshalltown to be ready. This is still just a preseason match. But Marshalltown might be another team that we see in the regular season. And even into the playoffs. Excuse me there. All this talking and yelling is really catching up to me right now. I'm definitely having some tea after this. What a great game it has been tonight. Members of this team, Shan, you know, Shan, been putting in that work on tanks. Sitting Diamond 2, I believe. Just playing incredibly so far tonight. Going to play incredibly into this last game. The Mustangs are going to try to come out of this thing on top. As we just patiently wait for them to ready up. My favorite thing to do is just to wait for everyone to ready up. Because I just patiently wait here. It's been an excellent night of Overwatch so far. It's only going to get better from here. We've got the ready from the Mustangs. We've got the ready from Marshalltown. And here we go. Our last game of the night. Here we go. This is just one of the many checkpoints that we'll have. It'll show up throughout the map throughout this game. Servasa, a very beautiful map, and I still barely know it. I barely know where the spawns are and where the points are. I just look at where to go and I run as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, but I know these guys have a, an acute understanding of this map because of the way they've been able to run it. And it looks like we're moving back to our original comp, the uh, Ramatra comp, what worked so well for the Mustangs all the way back in game one over an hour ago at this time. I can do this on Gilbert giving us the game five hype. Faster too. Ten seconds before the start of our last game of the evening for Overwatch. Remember that this is not the end. We'll, we are probably going to have an interview, win or lose after this game. We will see. 
So keep yourselves locked in, not just for the match, but for what comes after. Demzy, moving things up immediately. Move on to the first point. They're going to stick with their Mauga comp. 10 seconds until that point unlocks. That May was so annoying last time out. A nice nade there by Replica. The only change to the first team roster. And Bercy can be the first to fall. Shan will also fall there. Looking to get on that May. May not able to fall. And we'll move back. Looks like Marshalltown going to grab the point first. Now up towards 30% for Marshalltown. Shan immediately moving forward. A Lucio ultimate. Kick him out of that. Shan looking to move away. Unfortunately, three members of the Mustangs taken down. Now up above 60% for Marshalltown. Wall 97% able to force the overtime there. Shan immediately able to get one. Fusion able to get another. May the only one left. And Monko gonna take full advantage. They'll grab a team kill and they'll grab the point at 99%. They're gonna fight this one tooth and nail. This is it for both teams. So both teams are going to fight it as long as possible. And 99% Mustangs now up towards 20%. You guys notice it takes a, it's a lot quicker between 0% and 100%. It's just how the map plays, which is really nice, how quickly it plays. It looks like they're going to stick with the Malga comp and have the ult advantage here. The only one left is Embercy with the Kitsune rush. Unfortunately, three, four Mustangs fall. Five Mustangs fall. It's going to be another team kill. And they're going to be able to grab the point straight from the Monaco Mustangs. The way that they grabbed it from them, the Mustangs only able to get to 68%. They're going to grab the other point. A new point has been activated. And it looks like advantage again going to go to Marshalltown as they get the head start to the point. They'll set themselves up on that high ground in this lovely courtyard Monko gonna take the low ground here but we'll be on point to start things off with Let the Kitsune, Kitsune rush comes out Mustang gonna take advantage of this gonna try to grab the Mauga Mauga will be taken out triple kill and Mustangs will grab the flashpoint first Looks like they've moved again on the DPS to a uh, Sojourn and a Farah for the Mustangs. And the adjustments coming inside of the match. Something great to see from Monko. Big damage on to Shan. Shan and Fusion able to grab a few. Ultimate comes out from the enemy Reaper and it's gonna wreak havoc. They're gonna be able to grab another team kill on the Mustangs and they'll grab point for the first time in this, uh, for this flashpoint. Mustangs are teamed up, they're ready to go. They need to take that point and hold it for just a little bit longer in order to tie things up in this game five.
Sharon moving up immediately. Ultimates ready. Three ultimates ready for Maka. Vision able to grab one. Nano boost is administered. Unfortunately, use of the ult there. Shan trying to get some good damage on this team. He moves in. Not able to get much damage there. They're going to be up towards 80%. Will Mako be able to get back in time is the question. And again, making some moves in the DPS position. Fusion makes his way over to Bastion. See limited success. Mako going to be backed up into a quarter, though, if they don't force an overtime here. And all Marshall Town need to win now is one more Flashpoint. Mako needs to reverse sweep here on Flashpoint in order to get the work done. Here we go. The last Flashpoint unlocked in 15 seconds. Mustangs going to get there around the same time. But they're a little bit separated from the rest of the team. 10 seconds until that flashpoint unlocks. Marco going to look to get there first. Already that Malga looks a little low. Marshalltown on the flashpoint though. They're going to take it fairly convincingly right now. Fusion able to get a pick with that grenade. Mustangs are trapped. Mustang's going to try to grab point away from Marshalltown, and they're going to be able to do it. But up to almost 27% still makes things very dangerous for the Mustangs here as they're trying to defend this point for as long as humanly possible in order to get at least one back. Mustangs putting in some good damage so far. Playing together as a team. Here comes Marshalltown. Monko now up towards 60%. Able to grab the Malga there. Ultimate comes out from Demzy. Demzy able to grab one. Shan able to grab two. We'll move in on the rest of the team here. They'll be able to get it. Five players. Mako up towards 80% now. They're going to take one. With that team kill, Mako down two to one. They grab that flashpoint. Next flashpoint going heavily into Mako's favor here. They're going to get an actual opportunity to set things up here, but very much set up like a kill box. And we'll see what... Uh, the Marshalltown team wants to do, but Mako looking to bring this to a tie, a fifth flashpoint. Shan, gonna stay far forward. He's gonna put in as much damage as humanly possible, move those guys around to a different strategy. Ultimate comes out from our very own fusion. Flashpoint is active. Dempsey able to grab that Reaper. Mustangs looking to grab the point. They're going to be able to grab it. Able to grab the Ana. Mustangs will continue to be moved up, putting in that pressure. Mustangs don't have ult advantage, though. Four ultimates going to Marshalltown. Only two going Monko's way. Some of the best ultimates in the game about to be used by Marshalltown here. They're going to try to take point. Mustangs up towards 50%. There goes one. That's on the Mustang side of things. Soldier utilizing his ultimate. They'll try to grab and burst. He will be able to. Replica, the only one left. And Bercy staying alive, able to get the soldier there. Brings the Makos up to 80. Gonna be 88, 89%, 87%. Mako wanna get this team fight 
over with so they can grab this second flashpoint and force that fifth get flashpoint in this fifth game overtime of the overtime Mustang's gonna go the long way round. We'll start the fight. Three ultimates get to be used from the Marshalltown team. Mako have three ultimates almost ready. Ultimate comes out. Reaper able to get two. Shan able to make the most. Shan able to get one last kill, but Monko not able to get there. Will they be able to get back in time now at 80%? So will Marshalltown. They've got the Reaper and Mauga still on point. Fusion immediately going to go in there. Fusion will fall. It's and that is unfortunately going to do it here tonight. The Mustangs. A grueling defeat. They bring it to a game five. Bring it to a fourth flashpoint. Marshalltown able to come out on top. Play of the game again going to Shan on this evening. This is just a preseason match, but this team's got enough to be proud of. They played excellently tonight, the Marshalltown team and the Mustangs team. The Mustangs very much improved from last week. They looked incredible this week. As we move back over to me, we're going to text a couple of people and see if we have an interview. We're going to move to a quick break. And we will hopefully be back with an interview or we might be back to end, t end stream. But stay right there. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Uh, if you guys are just joining us, an unfortunate loss here in the preseason for the Mustangs going up against Marshalltown, uh, losing three to two in that game five. We are joined by DPS De Dems Lord. Is that how you pronounce? Dem Demise Lord. Demise Lord. I've been saying it wrong for the past two streams, but now I know for the next one. <laughs> Demise Lord uh, joined here. Uh, obviously not what you want, even in the preseason uh, but you guys played really well on night. What are you guys going to take away from this game? The personal takeaway I have is I need to touch the point last minute. There are two times where I should have touched and we could have held more, but I didn't. That's the personal takeaway. Honestly, I feel... My bad. All good. I feel... <laughs> I feel that we played really well with Shan, but... Once we start losing, it's hard for us to come back and stop. Yeah. And, you know, you guys played excellently tonight. You could see that, obviously, but a lot of improvement uh, on a map where you guys were bringing it to overtime just last week. Let's talk about King's Row for a second. Obviously, again, going into another overtime situation, but a little bit on the back foot there. What was the mood of the room going into that? What were the thought processes going through your guys' head? The whole thing is that we wanted – it was a bit harder for us to stay with a good mindset because we were playing for a draw at this point. We were not we were not able to win. So having no final objective kind of puts a damper on us. But I thought we held really well. 
but we yeah. became really disorganized near the end, and that's what led to us losing. Yeah, unfortunately, when it comes to a map like that, where it's only a third of point that they have to get, I can obviously understand the panic and things like that. I thought you guys played really beautifully just up until the end, and obviously, when you get to the end, and, you know, Shan goes down, and you go down, and everyone's just kind of moving things around, things are just going to get chaotic, but... uh you know, you guys pulled off two incredible wins, two incredible game wins tonight. How did it feel after Li Zhang Tower? I know you guys weren't able to win in the preseason last week, but, you know, getting that first win in a league match, how did that feel? Honestly, the team we were up against last week was a very, very difficult team for us to play against. Not only was, our, was it our first preseason match, which we felt the pressure on, they were overall better ranked than us. I felt that what we did on King's Row then was very special. And today I felt like we probably could have played a bit better. Me specifically, I felt like I could have played better. I know I can speak the rest for all of it. Maybe except for Shan, because he seems to find a way to do everything. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's insane. <laughs> the atmosphere, though, was great. We were looking forward. We are we're all riled up. Well, that's... It was a wonderful atmosphere here. That's great to see. I mean, I could see players old, new, uh, past and present from both varsity and JV teams sitting behind you. So obviously mm -hmm. looks like it was a great atmosphere for the match and watching it, you know, obviously not the outcome that we want, but you guys have what one more match of preseason next week. What are you guys aiming to get done in this next week or two weeks before the regular season starts? I think we got to work our work on what we do in pressured situations that and we got to work on positioning ourselves correctly. I know I have a problem with it. I've seen problems with, I think everybody, at least one point during each map where we had a problem with positioning. It's not an easy thing to work on. I've been working on it since last season, but I think if yeah. we really get our positioning, we can win every single fight. Yeah, and I think that's great that you guys are able to look back on the matches even immediately after they happen and say, all right, this is what I did wrong. This is what the team, you know, kind of struggled with sometimes here. So you see Jay coming up behind you on one of our JV teams. Mm -hmm. But, like, that instant recognition of, okay, this is what we need to fix means it's going to be a great season for you guys because I only see you guys going up from here. Uh, incredible work here tonight. Any final thoughts for the people in chat tonight or just, like, overall, any shout-outs to give? Honestly, I think the biggest shout-out I have to give is Shan, who – I think single-handedly carried us through so many fights. <laughs> he did a really great job on that Ramatra. Mm -hmm. His Ram is something special. Oh, yeah. As long as his Sigma, I wish we could have seen more of the Sigma uh, this time around. Oh, but it looks so we... good on Casino Royale. Mm -hmm. Circuit Royale. Circuit Royale. What did I... Mm -hmm. any... It does look like a Casino. Yeah, but any other shout-outs other than Shan tonight? No. One final oh. thought I have is... Well, yeah, sorry. One final no, thought I have is the maps we won, we did really, really well on, and they could not get in. But the maps that we lost on were 50-50 on how we did it. Like, we had, we took a point off them and Flashpoint, we brought them to overtime and King's Row. So, I think there's a lot of room for improvement, and we'll do great then. Oh, yeah, and, like, you guys are so close. Like, taking one mm -hmm. off of them in Flashpoint when they were so dominant the entire time... I think that's incredible, and, you know, you guys aren't losing these matches by a country mile. It's not like they took three points off of you in Flashpoint. You were able to grab one back, and I think that's something really important to take out of this. An excellent match here tonight. That is going to do it here. Again, my name is Corrupted. We hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and join us tomorrow. Valorant is back with another preseason matchup or a preseason scrim. We'll see what that is. But until then, I am Corrupted. Have yourselves a wonderful evening.